is one way of making your binary. Known. Uh, playing three uh, cards will draw go binary ability. Have in a binary state, can Mao do significantly more damage? Okay. I think I just save this, but. Damn, girl. She maintains the binary state. Go now, quickly! Let's go, go, go! Ah, the perfect opportunity to field test mother's device. Artifact from the truck. For the record, Bruce, I did not smash that thing. Noted, Carol. Perhaps you might direct all that energy towards your newfound adversary. Okay, okay, reduce the hydrogen. And the mysterious by, cargo uh, they're to attempting zero. to escape with. You can all join Lilith together. Can I drop this? How do I drop this? Time when Lilith had the highest of standards for her minions. That time has clearly passed. Ritual that one. Leave some for the rest of us. Um. I'll break his block. Immune to knockbacks, so. But mind. Protected every single freaking time. Preliminary analysis of the blast confirms high levels of gamma and various unknown energies. Unknown to you, 
There is dark magic at work here. We must not let Hydra escape with it. Was simple enough to remove that day, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Block e equals the damage dealt. Get that. myself every day. Mm. Didn't let me angle that. Didn't think I could get any stronger. To be crystal clear, we won't be able to recreate Faustus's experiment or track potential future variants' gamma signatures without a baseline resonant sample from his initial occult gallery. Got it. Stop the truck. Mm-hmm. Is now being recovered, defeating the remaining the yeah, complete the mission. One less thing to worry about. Approximately 16,342 more to go. I suggest starting with the remaining Hydra forces in your vicinity. So I don't know. I, to, I guess I have to shoot that or something. I don't know. get this thing back to the Abbey and see for ourselves. Points we've had so far. Really? Oh, three? Oh, man. Honey, I'm home. job out there, kid. I mean, I didn't get Hydra bombed until my tenth run with the Avengers. Kid? 
You do know that I'm a good three centuries older than you, right? Then you've got a lot of catching up to do. Okay, Abbey Tournament tonight. Sure about that? Last one got a little heated. The Eternal Spirits of Vengeance take technical fouls very seriously, especially in the fourth quarter. Forget it. Tonight is movie night. It is always movie night. Exactly. Wow, out of jail again? Who made this game? Wilson Fisk? Well, if parking is free, clearly no one from Manhattan. You know what they say, all work and no play is how we ended up with Ultron. Oh? Come on, you should hang out. I should rest another time. Do I really have to rest? I can't Let go and upgrade myself. How did this work again? Okay. Respond to a message. Hello. So we can last second to save the day. Oh. Hi. I'm tired. Oh. Fuck you all, new phone who this. You answered. Getting hard to keep finding ways to say open door around here. And despite what Robbie says, I don't think the staff of one speaks high elven. Blood magic stuff. Cool room. Spacious. Aw, is that bad for Charlie? Then well, it's not for yes. us. Thanks. So if you're planning on giving me some sort of brooding code of the stoic warrior speech, I'm immune. Just ask later, Magic. From what I just saw out there, whatever crazy ancient living weapon stuff Caretaker put you through back in the day did a real number on you. We got a lot of work to do. Work? Yeah, talking to people, making friends, basic human stuff. Or quasi-human. <laughs> you're a midnight sun now. One of us. Nico, I was just Hydra bombed. I could use some rest. You and me both. Been bad dreams every night for me lately. I, uh, keep seeing Wanda. She. Never mind. I will meet you outside. Yes! I'll go nuke us some popcorn, and you pick out a movie. Oh, and it may just be the two of us. The others went outside, needed to cool off. Really need to hang a fan over that forge, or maybe crack open the casket of ancient winners in Jesus. Okay. This goes against all my introvert... Uh, <laughs> what's it called? Uh, thoughts. Yep. Okay, we'll go hang out with her. Can I not go to do stuff at the forge? No? Hi. God damn it. Being forced to do stuff and socially interact with people. How dare you. Something tells me you don't have a favorite movie. Well, we can start you out with one of my favorites. Despite almost getting blown up, it seems you did pretty well out there. Watching a movie, Maybe friendship, hope uh, for the world yet. He gains. Sure. I know this entire situation's gotta suck for you. Not just the whole resurrected, chosen one thing. I get why facing Lilith won't be easy. I was 15 when I found out my mother was capital E evil. Hmm. What about your father? Was your father there for you when you found out? Uh, Dad was evil too. Long story, lots of drama. Um, there was a cool dinosaur. I'll fill you in later. Huh? Look, I'm glad my mother is gone, but yeah, at times I just want to hear her voice again. Some days I'd give anything to make that happen. Makes me hate her even more. 
Okay. Lilith gave birth to me, but caretaker was my true mother. Right, so your adoptive mom raised you to kill your birth mom. <laughs> You'll fit in perfectly. Messed up backstory for sure. Uh, enough about our crappy parents. You watching two you stone? missed out on decades of good movies. It's my solemn duty to fill this knowledge gap with the best examples I can provide. So, the first thing you need to know, the glowing briefcase is a metaphor. Oh, uh have a picture frame. Can we do it again? Got a sleepless metat. Okay. So, what did you think of the movie? I understood right. more than I should. How? You've been dead for three centuries. I'm not so sure I was dead. Not exactly. I recall a deep slumber, not the void. I. I dreamt. Of what? Of everything. Much of this world is familiar to me. I know it from my dreams. Uh, that's not creepy at all. So, do you know everything? No, I... Uh, think of it like this. I know what a car is, but I have no idea how to drive. You're up to date, but not omniscient. <laughs> then I'm guessing you don't know much about me. Just what you shared earlier. You're always free to ask. Like, what's the staff of one, or who were the runaways? Yeah, I don't know anything about her. About the staff of one. I had some questions about cool. your staff. Why not? Uh, sure. Uh, but first, um, the basics. The staff of one interprets words or phrases as spells, but it can only cast a spell once. No repeats. Nope. What? Yeah, powerful but limited. If each magical effect is unique, do you worry you will run out of words? Not really. I only use the staff's power when I truly need it. The rest of the time, I rely on more conventional means. Like, you know, magic. Okay. I had some questions about your old team. The runaways? Sure thing. Yeah, this is one of these people I don't, I don't know about. Yeah, who were the runaways? Who was on the team? At first, uh, Chase with his mad science gear. Molly, our pint-sized powerhouse. Carolina, the solar-powered sweetheart. Gert had a telepathic link to Old Lace, a genetically engineered Deinonychus from the 87th century. I handled the blood magic, though I didn't understand it much. And Alex? Uh, well, we don't talk about Alex. So Rennie's, Rennie's like a... scuffed Teen Titans? I know Teen Titans is DC, but still. Where are your friends now? Molly attends Xavier's school for gifted youngsters. Okay. Carolina left Earth to marry alien nobility. Gert, she, uh, she didn't make it. Oof. After Gert passed, uh, Chase and I had a falling out. The last I heard, he and Old Lace are living at his family home in LA. As for Alex, uh, he chose his side, and it wasn't ours. He died with our parents. Hmm. I should get going. Yeah. Uh, good, good timing. Um, looks like Caretaker wants to speak with you, and wow, I should get to bed. Time flies when you're hanging out. I'm glad to see you're using your Ooh. free time productively. Look at that. These grounds have it. Oh, looks like you're finding your way around. Maybe making some new friends. I was planning on getting some rest, but... Things are moving at a frantic pace. For all we know, I'll be landing a jet on the roof with Mr. Stark this afternoon. <sighs> Not quite like it was in the good old days. Mm. The world is still full of monsters and villains. My mother being the worst of them all. You forgot heroes. The world is still full of heroes. Though sadly, we're missing one of our best. Agatha. Where is Agatha? I am sorry. I should have had this talk with you much sooner. 
But you should know. Agatha. She's no longer with us. What? Th that is impossible. She was so... Fierce. Indomitable. I don't have any clue who Agatha or is meant to be. maybe just kind to a fault. Agatha's power. How could she be gone? She put her trust in the wrong person. Agatha died in an accident caused by her protege, Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch. The Midnight Sun's latest recruit, a powerful spellcaster in her own right. Perhaps the most powerful Agatha and I had ever seen. Wanda's abilities were growing. Too quickly for my liking. Agatha was determined to help her control them. Okay. I tried to caution her, but she would not listen. There was an incident. An accident, I'm sure, but... Agatha was killed. Yes, incinerated in an instant. Not even ash to remember her by. Oh, this is one of these, oh, she's actually alive sort of situations? Broken, as was I. But I also saw the danger, the threat, if Wanda's powers were left unchecked. So I did what needed to be done. I sent Wanda away, to the Sanctum Sanctorum, to study under Doctor Strange. Okay. I know the others still harbor a great deal of resentment towards me for it. Mmm. Yeah, you kind of gave up on Lobo on that one. Where did you go? Wanda's powers were so out of control they cost a life. Your Maybe decision nearly really saved lives, if not the entire Abbey. I like to believe she wasn't that. Good. Especially given her current situation. <sighs> Wanda. Agatha. It seems we have lost them both now. I conjured a small shrine to Agatha's memory on the grounds, hoping to find some solace, a way to move forward. Okay. You should pay your respects. Maybe you'll find what I couldn't. Good night, Hunter. Cheerio. Uh, the Hunter can follow up of light or dark. Oh, through his choices they make. Hmm. And the abilities used in combat. Powerful rewards can be unlocked as moves down either path. Okay. What's up, boy? Timmy fell down the well again? Oop. More shrooms. That cat? Weird looking cat. Is you. you always did have the most remarkable eyes, Hunter. Just like your mother's. Maybe that's why you're the first. The first? To commune with the spirits, of course. <laughs> is this a trick of some kind? Because I am not amused. We are not amused. Oh, it's no trick, dear. You're just the first to see me. By now, you've heard I had a bit of trouble with my corporeal body. Yeah, kind of went boom. I actually find it quite liberating. You are dead. Always straight to the heart of things. That's my hunter. You seem strangely at ease about this whole thing. After a thousand years of living, you learn to take things in stride. Even death. Okay. And... What have you been doing all this time? Meet me by the cave just over there. You know the one. The Bloodgate? Caretaker always told me to stay away from that place. I think we can safely lift the veil on a few more of our secrets. What's the worst that can happen? Oh, I don't trust a one bit. 
Let's open something called a blood gate. Oh. This ominous looking portal is known as a blood gate, and you're the only one among us who can pass through it. Blood gate? Caretaker's handiwork? Yes, Sarah got a little overprotective after the accident with Wanda. It's become something of a habit for her. I have noticed that. Hey. What lies beyond is meant for you, as much as it ever was for her. Assuming you're up to the challenge, that is. You know I am. I do. But it's always polite to ask. Fair? Ominous indeed. Sure. What's the worst that can happen? the elder gods <clears throat> okay mm -mm -mm. we're two levels ahead of, ahead of the recommended not what you were expecting is it there was a time when the blood stood within these celestial halls to prove their worth. This particular arena belongs to a goddess who often favored Sarah, Ashtor. Sarah, caretaker, was here? Nothing ever comes easy, dear. The Elder Gods felt their descendants needed to earn their blessings, which is why they created these trials to begin with. Trials? I should have known. This entire realm exists for that purpose. Trial by combat, with no chance of outside interference. Okay. Yes, but I may have found a loophole they never considered. Why don't you try summoning your four-legged friend? What's... What's up, boy? Charlie? Oh, damn, Charlie. The old gods are responsible for a great many creations, including your faithful companion. I think even they tend to forget that. Good luck, dear. Thanks. The all enemies in the encounter. As the goddess of balance and order, Ashtor was sometimes Oncare, called the giver of justice. You can expect a fair fight, or at least her idea. Guess I can mark them. Any of these elites does not appear so. I cannot perform that action. Bid. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. You were too weak for this fight. Refunded. Refund that one. Abandoned. I should be able to wipe more than one. 
one go. 